Question number one. Construct the right angled triangle PQR where measure of Q is 90 degrees, QR measures 8 cm and PR measures 10 cm. In this exercise, we are going to use RHS property of congruence of triangle, that is, right angled hypotenuse side. That is, one right angle is given to you, that is 90 degrees, and hypotenuse length is also given, and length of one of the sides. So this is the property which you have studied in your sixth standard. So first of all, we will have to write aim, as we always do in every question. So a right angled triangle, PQR, where 90 degrees is at angle Q, QR measures 8 cm and PQ measures 10 cm. So from the question itself, how will you understand that which is hypotenuse and which is your base? Well, one of the method is simple. The longest side is always hypotenuse. So this is going to be your hypotenuse and 90 degree is at angle Q. And other side is QR equals 8 cm. So steps of construction are simple. A part. Draw a line segment QR equals 8 cm. We are drawing the base. So QR with the help of ruler 8 cm. That's A. B. At point Q, draw QX perpendicular. This is the sign of perpendicular to QR. So QX as perpendicular on QR with the help of compasses or with protractor. You know very well how to do it. That's your B. C. Taking R as center, now you will have to take R as center and adjust your compasses to the length of 10 cm and put your needle here and wherever it cuts this extension that is QX line segment that will be your P point and that will be equal to 10 cm. Do not use ruler, just use compasses and that is your C part. Now D. This arc cuts QX at point P already discussed and join PQ. That will be your required triangle based on RHS property of congruence of triangles. So it is the required right angle triangle PQR. That is your first. Question second. Construct a right angled triangle whose hypotenuse is 6 cm long and one of the legs is 4 cm long. Again, using the same principle, you construct a right angled triangle DEF where DF equals 6 cm and EF measures 4 cm. Again, the hypotenuse is given to you 6 cm long and you know very well that hypotenuse is the longest side in right angle triangle and one of the legs is 4 cm so you can name anything so steps of constructions in this case we have named the triangle as DEF which is right angled at E so one of the line segment is 4 cm so we will take it as a base this is your base this is your perpendicular or height and this is your hypotenuse so 4 cm we name it EF and then again at point E, we construct 90 degrees. Are you constructed with the help of compasses? Just draw a semicircle by putting needle here with small radius. Then you put your needle here and draw an arc like this and put your needle on the other side of this semicircle that you have drawn and wherever it cuts. That is, you are dividing 180 degrees into two equal parts, that is 90 degrees. So you have done these two parts and this is the sign of perpendicular in mathematics. Now see, taking F as center and radius 6 cm because you have to take this thing as center in order to find this point D. And why you name X? Because already you don't know. While drawing this perpendicular, you don't know where your D point will be. So you term it with some other alphabet. Therefore, we use X or you can also use Z, any alphabet. So you will adjust your compasses on ruler to 6 cm and wherever it cuts or intersects this line segment EX that will be a required D point and that completes your right angle triangle DEF that is a second question third construct an isosceles right angle triangle ABC where measure of angle C equals 90 degrees and AC measures 6 cm again the aim of construction is to construct an isosceles triangle that will be right angled obviously named as ABC where 90 degree will be at C you can see here ACB the center one denotes the angle this can also be written simply as angle C measures 90 degrees you have studied it in 6 standard how to name angles in different ways then AC equals BC equals 6 cm why they are equating it to equal that is it is an isosceles triangle and we know opposite sides of an isosceles triangles are equal so steps of construction 
that is first of all you take six centimeter it is a base using ruler name them as AC with the help of compasses or protractor whichever you would like to use draw 90 degrees and extend it to some relevant height and term it as X now you have to find B point so how you will do it you will not put compasses this time here why because you are given the other side as 6 cm so you will adjust your compasses on ruler to 6 cm and put compasses here and wherever it cuts this line segment CX that will be your B point well this is a special case otherwise we need to have hypotenuse why is this special case because you are given two sides and it is RHS as well as side angle side so always this length will be equal whenever you have a right angle triangle and both other sides are given to you so we have done all these steps talked about them already and when you join BA that is a required right angled isosceles triangle that is your third here we have a miscellaneous question below are given the measures of certain sides and angles of triangles identify those which cannot be constructed and say why you cannot construct them construct rest of the triangle so you are given the triangles and given measurements and you have to decide whether you can construct or not construct them in this question first of all we will try to find that which of the triangles are not possible so let's discuss first one well you have to construct triangle namely as ABC where measure of angle will be 85 degrees and B of 115 degrees so moving any further your mind should strike with one point that if you are adding these two angles they are leading you to 200 degrees well this is not possible because all the three angles measures up to 180 degrees and here only two angles are measuring greater than 180 degrees so therefore we put false so we will not take this case now second one angle is given another angle is given and when you are adding it gives you 90 degrees and the third angle will be equal to 90 degree and one side is given and which side is given QR the trick that we have already told you in previous exercise therefore here we also have QR so it will follow angle side angle criteria and this triangle is possible so we will construct it later discussing this one we have to construct triangle ABC A is given B is given addition is not leading to 180 degrees still possible again AC AC well here we don't have angle side angle rule because these are not matching A is given but B is not matching it is C but we have also studied that if two angles are given we can easily find third angle therefore we can correlate this question with angle side angle this is also possible which we will see further now fourth one triangle LMN L is given N is given when you add it up it is giving you 180 degrees so there's no chance that third angle can be equal to zero degrees therefore not able to construct it moving on to fifth BC well here we are given with the sides now we have to use that property that we have studied in this class only that is sum of two sides will always be greater than third side well 4 plus 2 is 6 greater than 2 possible when you add these two 2 plus 2 is it greater than 4 well no it should be greater not equal therefore not possible on this ground now see this side this side side so therefore we will use the same concept when you add them 8.5 greater than 3.5 true when you add these this is 7 greater than 4 yes when you add these 7.5 greater than 3.5 well yes we are able to construct it we will see it further now XYZ side 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 add them up 7 greater than 5 true 8 greater than 4 true 9 greater than 3 true we are able to make it in this question as well last part 10 greater than 4 true 8.5 greater than 5.5 true 9.5 greater than 4.5 true therefore we will be able to construct it as well now we will see that how we are going to construct it because the question says identify those which cannot be constructed done it say why you cannot construct them already mentioned now construct rest of the triangles which can be constructed so let's see that now so second one could be constructed therefore we are required to construct a triangle PQR 
So here we have second one. Angle R is given, Q is given, and we have to use angle side angle property. So how we did it in a previous exercise. First of all, we took the side, named it as QR with the help of ruler, 4.7 centimeter. Now we construct it. We had already done this kind of question. Exactly this kind of question. So you can see previous exercise as well. So we will draw individually 30 degrees using compasses, 60 degree using compasses. And then we join them wherever they cut each other. That will be your R. That is second, third triangle ABC. Two angles are given. And again, angle side angle property to be used. Same concept. Take side, name it as AC. Then construct these angles with the help of protractor or compasses, whichever you like. And wherever they cut, that will be your B point. That is your third. Now sixth, triangle PQR. Again, when you observe, this is isosceles triangle. Two sides are given. Therefore, we will take first base, 4 cm with the help of ruler. Name them as QR. And the other property can also be used as sum of two sides is always greater. Well, in this case, it is true. 4 plus 3.5. 7.5 is greater than 3.5. 7 is greater than 4. And again, the same thing. You will be able to construct it. Also, these angles will be equal because this is an isosceles triangle. So that is your sixth. Seventh, X, Y, Z. Here, again, the same thing. You can take any side. We have taken four centimeter. Then we will adjust our compasses and put on Y and open it up to three centimeter. So we will draw an arc, sufficient arc. And then we will adjust our compasses to five centimeter and put at Z. And wherever it intersect the previous arc, that will be a required triangle. The same thing will be used in this case. Open to 3.5, put here. Draw an arc, do not change the radius, put needle here, construct an arc. It will be something like this, like this. So it will cut from both the sides and that will be a required 3.5 exactly because no angle is given. So this is the only way to construct triangle in such cases whenever sides are given. Now eighth one, again sides are given, take one side. So we have taken 5.5. 5.5 you can also take 4 centimeter that will be easy because no decimal is there so name it as EF now ED is 4.5 centimeter adjust to 4.5 centimeter on compasses put little here draw an arc like this now DF measures 4 centimeter adjust to 4 centimeter put needle here and cut it that is cut previous arc so that will be a required triangle DEF and that is your last question of miscellaneous part